everyone, welcome to another vlog of mine. So, um, I said I was going to do this a while back, and so here it goes. This is the review of the box set of James Bond 50 Years. Or 50 Years James Bond, or whatever. Now I'm going to start off with the bonus disc. Bonus disc really isn't worth it, to tell you the truth, because the Skyfall vlog, uh, vlogs or video blogs, whatever you like to call them, pretty sure you could probably find them on the internet, no problem. The, the other things that are on it, the language, the, there's some subtitle thing, which is like pointless, but whatever. Uh, and then there's the uh, intros, you know, those music videos of each and every uh, James Bond movie, which isn't terrible if you just want to see those on its own. So I guess you could say that is the kind of a cool thing that did. And then there's uh, stuff to do with like their own, all the gadgets, I guess, from when they first did it to uh, just before Skyfall. So. I guess you could say it is kind of cool, but to tell you the truth, it, it, if you're getting the the box set just for like that bonus disc, then don't bother. It's not worth it. Now, uh, as for like the main menus, when you uh, put it in the Blu-ray, then the first thing you see is the main menu. Or when you get through to the, through the crap of stuff, you get to the main menu. Now, from the very first James Bond to uh, Casino Royale, they're all the same type of main menus. And then all of a sudden, for some weird reason, Quantum of Solace is different. Why would you do that? It makes no sense. The whole uh, box set has one set, it should have one set menu, not like two different ones. Or one for 99% of it, and then 1% doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. It, that was just uh, stupid on their part, in my opinion. Now, the booklet part of it. Now, there is no technically no book. It's in booklet. It's in a book form because you open up it, and then there's two slits for two movies and then there's like images on the other side and they have the years that the movies come out so that's cool and I actually really appreciate that because not many people would remember when certain movies came out so I appreciate that now in each and every one of the movies there is uh, bonus features for each and every one of them now I'm not going to go through this, uh, through all of them because to tell you the truth, I don't remember all of them. But there are like interviews from like back in the day with Sean Connery and stuff like that. Um, I like the box set. I uh, like the box of the box set. I I think it's interesting the way they have it. The only problem I have with it is the cardboard thing that comes with it because it doesn't stay on the box. Now, I know for some of you, it probably wouldn't really matter whether the box, uh, the cardboard's with it or not. For, for us, uh, us people like me that prefer to have it with it, if you're going to have something like that there, then make sure it stays on there. It doesn't just fall off because it's uh, annoying as hell. But if, and, and if you're not going to, then don't bother at all putting it on there because if it's just there so you can like tell what's on there then maybe just make it like a surprise like a gift on Christmas you know what I mean so anyways that's my little review slash rant I don't know whatever you like to call it um so yeah Whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, I may do a review of The Game of Thrones Season 2 um, later uh, when I uh, finish the Season 2. Uh, not that I haven't seen Season 2, it's just that I bought the Season 2 
and so uh, I may review it, I may not review it, it all depends, because I haven't reviewed every single uh, season that I have of shows, because if I did that, then I'd be doing one a day, or two a day, because I have like over a hundred seasons of shows, and over two hundred movies, so, anyways, whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and hopefully have a good day, bye.